Hi there, Anessa and Ron here. You know, many people have had their doctor tell them to limit salt or sodium in their diet, and here's the reason why. Where the salt goes, the water goes, and that causes fluid retention, and the blood volume also increases. It's kind of like trying to force more water through the same size pipe. The pressure goes up, and that puts people at risk for high blood pressure, kidney disease, stroke, heart disease. And so what suggestions do you have to help people manage the salt or sodium in their diet? Absolutely. Well, to me, the good news is the enemy is not the salt shaker. In fact, one of the best things you can do is cook at home because by doing that, you have eliminated a lot of processed food and all fast food, which are two of the biggest culprits of sodium. So here are three practical ways you can boost flavor with decreasing your amount of salt intake. First is to half the amount of salt that you use with some kind of dried flavorful herb and sprinkle that on your food before cooking. Secondly is what I call flavor boosters and that is using fresh herbs on the food that you've already cooked or some fresh citrus zest or even peppercorns or another dried herb by itself. Um, then, if you are ready to try something a little bit different, try using nutritional yeast. That kind of has a flavor like Parmesan cheese, and it's high in B vitamins, and people will put that on popcorn or roasted vegetables. So the most important thing to remember is that sodium is a nutrient that we need. Just respect it and use only up to one teaspoon of salt a day.